a Jewish fellow, he's the conductor, the main conductor of the Boston, I think the Boston Philharmonic Orchestra. He's a British Jew. His name is ben Benjamin Zandman. I once heard him speak, and he spoke from the perspective of music, but it was a very powerful lesson for me. He said, how do I know that I'm a successful conductor? How do I know? How do I know that I'm doing my job well? And he said, I'll tell you how I know. I turn around, you know, the conductor faces the musicians, right? Doesn't say a word, makes with his hands, jumps and sways his hands and dances. Nobody knows why, but he sweats nonstop and then takes the main bow and gets the applause because his silence is quite deafening as he carries the oomph and the zeitgeist of the symphony. And he said, I turn around and I look at the audience. If I see a fire in their eyes, I know that I'm doing my job. If I see dullness in the eyes, I know that I am a dismal failure. In his own language, Lahavdil, he captured what the Balshemtiv was saying. I teach a lot, and I teach many different ages of people and many different demographics. I have the privilege of sometimes in the morning teaching Satme Chassidim, and in the evening teaching secular Jews. In the morning teaching men, and in the afternoon teaching women from all different stripes and colors. But there's one common denominator, and that's how I know if there's an energy that is transformative, if I could look up at each student sitting at the table, sitting in the room, sitting in the shul, sitting in the hall, and I could see that a little fire or a big fire has been ignited in their eyes. Then I know that I had the privilege of that moment, at that moment of being the Chama, who when the Chama, the sun, comes in contact with the moon, just brings out their light.